I want to highlight some of the key components in making our um, software optimized and enabling Xeon. So starting with our math kernel library, MKLDNN, which is math kernel library for deep neural networks. This is an open source library. And it has highly optimized kernel implementations for the popular deep learning constructs such as uh, matrix multiplication, pooling, etc. Um, we have what we call ngGraph. It's, um, it's a compiler which is, which is framework neutral and it the plugs into the frameworks and it supports various architectures. So it's, it's sort of an abstraction layer or a glue which supports um, various frameworks and then various hardware architectures at the bottom. And recently, we upstreamed uh, ngGraph uh, Bridge into TensorFlow. And the top right, you can see a list of uh, all open source frameworks that we support via what we call direct optimization, which means we work directly with these framework owners, developers, and what we do is all the optimization work that we have done, it gets merged into the main line. So our developers and customers can, can just get all the optimization for CPU directly when they use these. <clears throat> so all this optimization work that we are doing is showing great results. Here's an example. At the Stanford Dawn Bench competition, the best inference results were from Intel. And this was a combination of the optimized framework as well as the, the hardware, the Xeon processor. So it was both low latency and low cost. So that was inference. Let me give an example for training. So our engineers work with, uh, some of the engineers are here in the audience as well. So they work closely with Novartis, our partner. And um, they had a very challenging problem. They had to analyze these extremely large images, like way larger than the data sets that we are used to. And um, so for that, Xeon turned out to be a, a great solution because of its large memory capacity. So taking advantage of uh, Intel optimized TensorFlow and then scaling it up to eight nodes, we were able to reduce the training time from hours to only minutes. 